I'm not gonna lie you guys, I feel like the movie Monster is, is going on right now. <laughs> you guys know i am not naked i know i look naked but i promise i am wearing an upside down tube dress because i don't have a black tube top hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing this plummy smoky halo eye with a pop of blind on the lid i haven't done a dramatic look in such a long time and i'm using a bunch of new makeup that i've been excited to try out so i can't wait to show you guys how to get this look in the new makeup also just to remind you guys i am doing a huge back to school giveaway on my last video the back to school video i'm giving away ipads a macbook air i don't want you guys to miss out so don't forget to enter if you haven't already and if you have then good luck and and if you want to learn how to get this sleek, smoky look that I've been obsessed with, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's get on. I'm gonna with have the video. a lot of smoky mess all over my face, so I don't want to start with any foundation at all. So what I'm gonna do is just jump into the eyes. So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna use this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This also cleans up the brow. I'm gonna keep moving that over, kind of like a wing liner because you want it to be nice and fluid, and then bring it down. And you want the base to be nice and even. I'm gonna work that in with my finger. Using your finger is best when you're applying or blending out creamy products like this because the warmth of your skin heats up the product and it just melts into your skin so nice and flawless okay so we've primed our lids we have a nice even base but i also want to make sure that i set this cream because if i just start applying different shades and it's not set it's, it might move around and get really weird so you want to make sure you set it i'm going to be using the nude beach palette from the balm today for the smoky eye and I'm gonna take Brilliant. So I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a very neutral, similar to my skin tone shade. It's just gonna set our eyes in place so nothing budges or moves. And just pack that on so that nothing is moving around on our eyelids. So now we're done prepping our eyes. I'm gonna go straight into the crease. The crease shade that I'm using is actually not in this palette because I didn't see a light enough shade to really transition into. So I'm just taking Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek tap off the excess and start right in the crease, right in your crease. And if you don't have a crease, you can always make one. And you just wanna make a half moon right above any part of your lid, and that will be your crease. So I'm gonna work that back and forth in some windshield wiper motions, like so. And you can see it's very subtle, but it's going to be very helpful in the gradual process of this dark, intense shadow that we are doing today. So I'm gonna also do the same thing to the other eye. And I feel like this eye is just the stepsister. Get ready because we are about to use a ton of different crease shades. So are you ready? It's called Bold. It's in this bold area right here. I'm gonna take the same brush and just work that shade right into the same area. So we're just going overlapping that peach smoothie shade and working it right into the crease. And when you want to buff out the shadows, make them look softer towards the edge, you always wanna lift your hand up. Take your hand, move it towards the back of the brush and then lift the pressure up and use these circular motions to blend them out. I'm gonna take bold on this brush and just work it on the inner and outer corners. Bring it up into the crease where we were blending and then you see how it's kind of harsh. Go ahead and take whatever crease brush you were using and with a very light, soft feather hand, if your hand could be a feather, use circular motions and it buffs everything out. And then I'm gonna go on the inner corner and start to work that in there. And then I'm going to connect this to the crease and bring the crease shade down into the inner part of the lid. This is a very light layer, but I like to just go back and forth just to make sure that I don't have any harsh edges. And since I've already talked you through one eye, I'm just going to fast forward this part and turn on my ratchet music and finish this eye look. The next crease shade, this is what, crease number three? The next crease shade is Bodacious. This orangey brown shade right here. I'm gonna work that 
right on the outer corners and into the crease. Same thing, we're just layering it over. We want the other shadows to peek through these, so you make some space so that you can still see them. Okay, for the fourth shade that we're using, it's this one right here, it's called Brazen. So we're gonna take that on the same brush. I was cleaning it off as I go, so don't worry. It is the actual true color that I'm on the same area. So I'm gonna take it right on the outer edge, work it here. You wanna use this darker shade very low. And you don't wanna overdo this. You wanna gradually build this up a little bit at a time because once you put on way too much, it is very difficult to blend out. Take your time and blend out as you go. I really like this brush for blending. This is the Urban Decay E209 Tapered Blending. In case you're wondering, this is a really, really nice brush to blend. And again, I'm using a very light hand. My hand is lifted off of the skin. Very light pressure. And then I'm just going back and forth. Do not press down too hard. Once I started doing this, my makeup started looking a whole lot better. So just a little tip for you guys. Oh my God, this itch is so bad. I haven't even put makeup on and I'm already itching. I'm just using short, quick patting motions to get that darker shade down there. And you want to do this kind of look when you have a lot of time on your hands. You don't want to be rushing a smoky eye or a halo with glitter. It could look very messy, especially if you're using dark colors like this. I'm just going to connect the two together. I don't want it to be too dark. We just want these two shades to kind of glide into one another. And now I'm going to take this plummy purple, this shade right here. It's called Brave into the outer and inner part of the lid. Same thing that we did with the other shade, we're just making this even more intense. I'm looking down because I'm cleaning the brush off using the same brush. I love the way, I just love the shape of this brush and I don't wanna dig into my other brushes. So I'm just gonna keep this one brush and use it for the inner and outer part of the eye. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just build up that intensity. I love this like plummy color. Feather out the edges as you build it up. It's like you want to create a little C shape around your eye. Blend your way up so it could be gradual and gradient rather than putting a harsh line right up on top and then trying to blend it out. Just gradually work it as high up as you'd like. I'm going to go back and forth into this shade, intensify it, bring it up, blend it out. You will see what I'm talking about. For that center lid, I'm gonna take the new, I'm so excited to use it, the Dose of Colors collaboration with Desi and Katie. This is their palette, it's such a beautiful palette. I'm gonna take Turbo Sun right here, and this is one of the shadows that you can use dry, and I've swatched them, they are so pigmented. And then these two guys you use wet, and they look like metallic beauty on your skin. But I'm gonna take this one right here, this is like a plum color, it is so, so gorgeous. I thought this shadow would work really, really good as a plummy pop in the center of the lid. It has these really beautiful reflective in it. So I'm gonna take that on my ring finger, just work my finger in there, and we are going to pop it onto the lid like so. Oh my God. I feel like this eyeshadow was meant for this look that I created with this palette because it is such a beautiful complement to that plummy brown. While we're here, I just want to show you how beautiful these shadows are. Do that right here. I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm just trying to do, oh my god, this, this is such a beautiful color. With the other two shades, you're supposed to wet them. I wet my finger just a little bit. This is what it looks like. I kind of want to use this just as a bright highlight. Harpoon. Oh, this is so beautiful. And then what I'm gonna do is go back into Bodacious. Bring that warmth back into the area. Okay, so now I'm just gonna line my waterline. So what I'm gonna do is take this MAC Liquid Last Liner and line the upper lash line. I'm not gonna make a wing. I'm just going to literally add some definition to my lash area so that when we put on false lashes, it just seamlessly blends together nicely. So I'm just gonna make a line right here. So we are gonna go with these Lily Lashes right here. These are in the style Ella. They're long and flirty and a little dramatic, but still PC enough so you can see what you did on your eyelid. I'll go ahead and do my lower lash line after I do my foundation, but this is pretty much the eye look right here. I love this glittery eyeshadow. It's so pretty, it really brings a look together. I love it. I love it so much. I'm gonna use this primer right here from Kat Von D on my face. 
something I haven't used in a while. I just don't want to keep using the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to try this out. And then I'm going to use the Kat Von D foundation, which is super full coverage. And the Lock It foundation in medium 52. And then for concealer, I'm just going to use some of this Tarte Shape Tape right on the inner corners. I'm just going to pat that into the skin using very light hand motions. I feel like I say that a lot, but it's super necessary. I don't want you guys to be going in super hard and then it's going to look... It's not going to turn out the way you want it to, so I think it's important to tell you guys how to hold the product, how much pressure to put down. Now I'm going to brighten and contour, so I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is like my favorite go-to OG contour palette, and this is a newbie. So I'm going to take these two shades per usual, pop them underneath my eye to brighten, and I'm just going to look up so we don't get any creasing. Work it down and over. Eyes are going to add a little bit more brightness to the under eye, and it's just going to stay in place so it doesn't slide off of our face. So dipping into both of these guys and I'm going to, oh my god, my hair looks crazy. I'm going to go ahead and contour the cheeks here by the ear and then go down. I don't want to go down too far. Ooh, look at that. That is dark. And then I'm going to take the clean side of the brush and then work this contour shade upwards. And then for the nose contour, I'm going to use this brush right here. I'm going to take that middle shade and a little bit of the lighter shade together. And we are going to snatch that nose and then bring it around the nose. And then I'm going to soften it up with this brush right here, just patting it. Oh. For bronzing up the face, I'm going to use this NARS bronzer in Casino. Always start behind your cheekbone and then bring it in to see. You can kind of gauge how much you want. I almost forgot to go back into the eyes because we want to finish out that lower lash line. Go back into the Nude Beach palette and I'm going to take Bodacious. I'm going to work that on the lower lash line. Ooh, I have a hair and that is not a mustache hair, I promise part of that brush I was using. I made sure to shave my mustache before I got on here. Connecting it to that outer edge and work it all the way in. And then right on the waterline, I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Glide On Pencil in Zero. So I'm gonna take this brush and smudge out the black liner a little bit lower. I'm gonna smoke it out with that purpley shade we used earlier, Brave, and work that right underneath it. All right, so getting back to the rest of the face, we are going to highlight. For the highlight, I'm gonna take Fuego right here. Fuego on the cheekbone highlight, ooh. So now all I have left is the lips. So for the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and take Max Whirl Lip Pencil to line up my lips. And then I'm gonna use one of the nude lips. Let's see, either more creamer or no shade. I think I'm gonna do no shade. Work that on my lips. My lips are a little dry, but this lipstick is actually really hydrating. So I feel way better about my lips now. This is the gloss in Over the Top. It is so beautiful. Let me just see what it looks like really quick. Okay, so we went with the gloss on the center of the lips. The last thing that we're going to do is spread some Fix Plus all over the face. So we can make these powders look like skin again. And let's do this. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, you guys know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not ready to go yet, I have some videos over to the side. Before I let you go, I want you to know that you are as sleek and sexy as you want to be. And I can see it. It shows. That's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And until the next video, bye dollies.